first day back at track baby and uh, about to hit it real hard. Hopefully I don't go out too hot. <laughs> You're gonna. Definitely try to like stay comfortable though. Like I told you about the fastest I've seen you move in a long time, yeah. I know. But like, I don't know what my paces were in relation to what I was meant to hold. Did you just go by field? Yeah. Yeah, I went off obviously like Taylor's paces and then um, I just like obviously, like for me, not obviously, but for me, the more I get into it, the more I warm up. So like the first lap's always a little bit like, uh, what, where am I at today? But I definitely like have a bit of a headache, which is like pretty normal while I'm getting stuck into it. Rain would have been nice. <laughs> rain would have been so nice. I think nice. yesterday they had the rain, huh? I'm drenched anyway. It might as well be colder. Yeah. <laughs> How's that? I thought you were good. like, I need to take off my socks. That was, yeah, that was good. I felt like, um, I felt really comfortable when I was running. And it was warm, but like not too warm. And I also, I'll be interested to see what my paces are in comparison to what like everyone else was meant to be holding. Because uh, I, I wasn't really looking at my paces, to be honest. But that was good. A good, uh, good day one back. If she's really just like, hey, like just piss off to you. Oh uh, no, I just don't want you trying to like, nah. I, don't, I want you to get it. Uh, I'm not that considerate. Yeah. So Amy's gonna be here. Yeah. I've got a Get our little noble cold. girl. Yeah, for the videos. Yeah. This week. And um. All, all the brands have already yeah. tried branding her. I think I've got like five people, like five brands already sending her like stuff. I know, it's so cute. Dad's like, how's our little billboard? <laughs> so I just got signed up. Hello, girly. Uh, just got signed up from the doctor for Tia to start training now. Um, so basically feedback from the doctor, we've implemented some of those additional accessories they want to see in but today's she got the green light to move the body officially so it's exciting i've already seen a difference in tier from moving the body to a structured program she's already on a, a woman on a on a mission throughout the gym so it's been good to see she started with like the no feet movement so what we're trying to do is just focus more on the pull uh not focusing on the legs next session we'll introduce the legs just so we're, she's not bombarded from going from zero full into clean just isolating the movements allowing her an opportunity just to think about techniques and dividing into half essentially and additionally um we did floating cleans as well just so she doesn't have to go all the way to the floor hopefully that's enough just to save that midline a touch how are you going to keep her from overdue i think just keeping an eye on it for the most part today and the next week from looking at the program is certainly a lot dialed back from from near from what she was doing leading in the games this time last year my goal is in a month from now we start looking at hitting the 60 60 percent range in some of her lifts and then every month after increasing that by five to ten depending on 
of her progress. Uh, in terms of like where she's gonna be 100% wise, we're not putting a, a parameter or a range on that. We just want her to go through the motions, feel what, feel what she does and give us this live feedback and make adjustments on the way. I think with something like this, everyone goes through pregnancy and birth differently or postpartum. So we're not gonna treat it any differently. For your knowledge, just for experimental, whatever it is, you wanna give her like some sparks to do early on? Yeah, so we've got, we've got all that data on file, right? Like what she's done for the last seven, 10 years. Um, in terms of like testing, I don't wanna put that in her mind right now. I just wanna keep it more free flowing and like, uh, I want to use my abbreviation of fun. Just allow her to get in here, 90 minutes, wham, bam, get out of here, spend more time or just the, amount of, the same amount of time in recovery protocols, red light, sauna, ice bath, uh, mobility, uh, and obviously nutrition being a big part of that, and allowing that to be more the focus and letting this be the secondary of importance. What's our goal time-wise to be in and out of the gym starting out? start out with maybe like around about two hours just because I've got to be conscious of Willow and her feeding and everything so um, if I aim for two hours it probably will go into like two and a half three hours realistically uh, but it's it's not a whole lot of tra training to start off with it's just um, it's a lot more purposeful now so no more fun uh, I want to use my abbreviation of fun no more fun. Rumor has it, rumor has it. I'm a savage, I'm a savage. Drop the classic, drop the classic. Thinking back, drop the classic, drop the classic. To establish, to establish. That the magic, that the magic. It's all the magic. Got a mask, got a mask. Who was that? Who was that? Living legend, living legend. Lead the weapon. Mess of mind, mess of mind. Never tried, never tried. Tell them all, tell them all. Big dreams, I got big dreams since like baby. I've been joining forces with the likes of an A-team. Jumping off of buildings used to be so stimulating. Now I'm reaching new heights, I'ma need the off-whites. Play with the fire, you get burned. All of my struggles became lessons well learned. I got his eyes that keep me grounded, that's for sure. Cause one day we gon' make it out this earth. Where's your worth? Oh, it's cold, isn't it, girly? Oh, good thing we got a hoodie on. I just like. Hey, your elbow's gonna come through. Oh, that, that was that fast. But you couldn't see them come through. I was, I was trying to get through, alright? Hey, that's not how we do it. We do it right. It would be very unrealistic of me to expect to be like hitting 80% of my 1RM, right? Do you even look at percentages? Or did you go yeah, back? yeah, we're at 40%. So it was like super light, but like still heavy to the point where it's like, oh damn, like I gotta still stay engaged. But like realistically, I think this is where it's okay for me. Oh, oh yeah, day one, baby, day one. Um, realistically, like I haven't missed it uh, until August. Like for ten, 10 months, you know, so. I think that, that the fact that like, I'm very aware of that, it's not going to rush me in this. And once I do like one strength cycle, I'm sweet, I'm golden. Does it feel like when you come back with bobsled? No, because at least with bobsled, I still was touching on power clean. You know, I was still was, like I was still, Shane and I still went out like for a bit of us time, like went out and did like a workout every so often. So it's very different to that, but what's nice is I'm not as heavy as what I did when I came back from bobsled, body weight wise. You took your weight back up. Yeah, so that's nice. And I reckon I was way healthier pregnant at like 75 pounds than I was at bobsled weight at 70 pounds. I'm back baby, hey. I'm back. She's snoozing. That bar was dropping, she was passing. Why do you do this so much? What, this stuff? This one. Uh, I do this because it's just really good shoulder health. I also think that um, it helps 
um, remind me to keep my um, body position good. So rather than overarching, which I tend to do if I'm going really heavy, trying to bring my rib cage down and my hips stay nice and stacked. And then it allows me to train good movement patterns um, within my shoulder and shoulder girdle. Would you consider Tia a genetic freak? No, I wouldn't consider a genetic freak. Uh, I think there's, she's got uh, some form of genetic ability to, to be better than others in particular areas. But what's great about CrossFit, it's, it, it allows it to be an even playing field. For instance, if I'm genetically 6'4", great, I mean, I've got an advantage in some movements. Let's call it running, swimming and some of the obvious burpee stuff. But, if, but then the disadvantage at the same time when it comes to like thrusters where it's a shorter range of motion, uh, I think it's an even playing field, hence why I like CrossFit. I mean, there's a natural body height that seems to be succeeding at the CrossFit Games. That has to be factored in. New life, baby. <laughs>